What's all this hype about Cronin's assembly theory? Why has it captured the attention of so many across the globe? Let's go on a journey to explore the rise and fall of assembly theory. In October of 2023, the esteemed journal Nature published an article by Leroy Cronin and his team titled, Assembly Theory Explains and Quantifies Selection and Evolution. This theory claimed to bridge the gap between biological evolution and the immutable laws of the universe defined by physics. A feat that, if true, would be a monumental step forward. The theory supposedly provided a powerful interface between physics and biology, promising to bring evolution into the realm of hard sciences. The media jumped on this, touting it as a groundbreaking new theory that unites physics and evolution. The significance of this was huge. Evolutionary biology has long been criticized for its failure to be hard science. As Ernst Mayer stated, in biology there are no natural laws corresponding to the natural laws of the physical sciences. Even Jerry Coyne noted in Science's pecking order, evolutionary biology lurks somewhere near the bottom, far closer to phrenology than to physics. Robert Marx further emphasized that Darwinian evolution lacked the mathematical or definitive simulation foundations that characterize hard sciences. As he stated, those hoping to establish Darwinian evolution as a hard science with a model have either failed or inadvertently cheated. There exists no model successfully describing undirected Darwinian evolution. According to our current understanding, there never will be. However, the bubble of hype surrounding assembly theory was soon to burst. In November of 2023, Hector Zanil and his team of Oxford and Cambridge published a paper that debunked assembly theory. Titled, On the Salient Limitations of the Methods of Assembly Theory and Their Classification of Molecular Biosignatures. The paper argued that the assembly pathway method, the keystone of assembly theory, was nothing more than a restricted version of Huffman's encoding for counting copies. And in an article titled The Eight Fallacies of Assembly Theory, Zanil further argued that the main results of assembly theory could be reproduced and even outperformed by some of the simplest algorithms known to computer science. Zanil and his team were able to reproduce all of the results and figures from the original paper, effectively demonstrating that assembly theory did not contribute anything new to the decades-old discussion about life. Zanil even expressed dismay towards Cronin, stating, the animus of the senior author, Lee Cronin, toward one of the core areas of computer science, suggests a lack of understanding of some of the basics of computer science and complexity theory, Coming from an established university professor, dismissing algorithmic complexity measures as a scam, with no reasons given even when requested to elaborate, is dismaying. In summary, Zanil concluded that the authors of assembly theory failed to realize that their methods were a special weak case of algorithmic information theory, AIT, and would only work because of the principles of algorithmic complexity. Zanil's critique suggested a lack of understanding on the part of Cronin and his team, particularly in regards to computer science and complexity theory. So what's the current status of assembly theory? It started as a theory that promised to revolutionize our understanding of evolution and the laws of physics. However, it was debunked just a month after its publication. The hype surrounding it has deflated and it has been exposed as nothing more than a restricted version of existing algorithms. The journey of assembly theory serves as a reminder of the importance of critical examination and rigorous scrutiny in the world of scientific research. As we look to the future, it's clear that the quest to reconcile evolution with hard sciences is far from over. But for now, assembly theory will be remembered not as a groundbreaking theory, but as a theory that was too good to be true.